Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to this channel. Today we'll be showing you guys around the beach Gabo Pino. So we're not gonna show like the actual like beach side, but we're gonna go on like the path. So Cabo Pino is a quiet marina situated between Marbella and Benalmazina. It's a much smaller port than Benalmazina with its only true Mediterranean style. It is often overlooked by the tourists, mainly because it's not visible from the road. But like all coastal marinas, it has some very good restaurants and bars, as well as lovely beach and golf courses. So this is also a port as well as a beach, so you'll be seeing um, harbor places and a lot of bars, like, you, like the one you can see in front of you. There are popular beaches on t to the other side of the pool where some good beach bars are located. To the west of Cabo Bino is the clothing optional beach of Playa Arola or Playa de las Dunas Carib. This is the only picture of a beach in Marbella that is backed by extensive natural dunes, the only section of coast that is not ur urbanized. These are the, the restaurants and bars, and these are some toys that little kids can play on. So this is the port area where people park and can go like on these boats on um, a tour before COVID but now they just go if it's their own boat and there's not, not a lot of people can go on it together. So this is a better looking boat that, it's re that I li really like, it's really pretty. It looks like those fast trains, but it's not. Um, this 
A little before Marbella, we find Playa de Cabo Vino. This beach is a first in the municipality and being a little further from the center. It is not so crowded and the atmosphere is different from the from that or other Marbella beaches. It turns out that this beach has gained a lot of popularity in recent years and with good reason. The water is exp- especially clean, sandy beaches and located only 30 kilometers east of the center of Marbella. Cababina is suitable for children. It offers a wide variety of local and international dishes. There are several different pl- several places to rent pedal boats, boats and jet skis, and even organize excursions to see dolphins. Like what I was telling you, you can go on trips on the boat. Well, that's where you can see dolphins. Per- um, and you can. There's plenty of parking available near the beach and at the marina. You, um, in short, you'll find everything you expect from a good beach there. And to sleep, which will be, which will be coming up soon, uh, is where, something to do with the, the farm front facing the beach about 250 meters away. There's one of the largest campsites in the area where a multitude of family traveling with their children stay in their motor homes or come here to spend the summer. Camping Capovino is a tourist complex with 60 bungalows and 270 plots in an extensive pine forest located in a unique natural environment. And here are fishes in the port, like always. So here are more restaurants. Like I said before, there's plenty of restaurants, bars, golf places, and karaoke as well. And a convenience store for people just to get food on cheap prices. So like I said, there's lots of parking lots, so there won't run out of parking, there's lots.
So now we're into um, takeaway and food and all like that. And we're in a different area. But we're still close to the beach. So this is like formed in like a kind of indie or like aesthetic way to attract tourists. Like the yellow and green suits it really well. And a playground for children so it's really pretty. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes, señor. ¿Qué tal? Adi. Ahora vengo para tomar algo aquí. Bueno, yo creo que también sea picante, ¿eh? Sí, sí. Y la piecina es... Oh, perdón. So this is the place that has the camping, the huts, the 20, the, the bungalows, the 60 bungalows and 270 plots, that's what I was talking about. So, like I was saying, it has an extensive entertainment program with completely free activities. In addition, um, micro, the, it was, has a f fantastic microclimate of this area. It's warm in the winter and moderate in the summer. And it's a fantastic option in like any time of the year. You can come here and live here for like two days just tourists come here to just experience the camping in spain even though they already have huts Thank you. 
So these are like the huts or like the houses as well. These are this is the huts. There's also bungalows that there were before. So this is what it looks like in the inside and it's really comfortable and families would come here to stay so, um, it's totally recommendable it's really pretty and you can experience the wildlife it's really nice the green and white And that looks like a water park, a little mini water park just for children and pools for the residents that live there. These are camper vans that just people can take out and live in, like lots of people have them, so you don't need to buy an expensive house, you can just live in a camper van. And it still has all the same facilities. flowers make everything much prettier the pink behind the pink house with yellow and or orange
So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you guys in the next video. Allah Hafiz.